In this lesson, we will be renaming components. And our objective is to assign new reference designators automatically and interactively using the renaming qualifications. The components in the schematic have hard location property assigned. So Packager won't rename the reference designators. This property will prohibit the auto rename functionality from changing reference designators. You will remove this property from all parts except for the connectors. Start the PCB editor and open up the shape.board file or the last board file that you have saved. Go into Edit and Properties. Go into a blank area, right click, and select Temp Group. Go into the Find folder and click on Components and find by name and we want Comp or Pin. And we put an asterisk. And by doing that, we select all these components and the three components that we want to deselect is these three connectors. So we uh, hold control down and click and click and click and that deselects the three components that we don't want to rename. We now right click and select complete and notice that uh, the hard location property comes up and we want to delete that and we say OK. And if we want to check to see if everything did, went well, we can go into Edit Property, click on any component, and we see that there are no hard properties on it. And if we want to see if the hard locations remained on the connectors, we still we can go into Edit Properties, click on a component, and we see that the hard location is still there. And we can click on this one, hard location, and this one, and that, hard location. So everything looks fine as far as adjusting our hard locations. The next thing we'll do is set up our assembly top and assembly bottom colors. So we can say done to property edit, right click, done, and then press F2 and that brings the whole design into our window. And we can turn on our color palette which is right here and let's go ahead and we'll turn the global visibility to off. And now we want to expand the components and we want to turn on assembly bottom and assembly top. And that will take care of all of these. And next we expand the geometry and we turn on outline and we turn on assembly bottom and assembly top and we can now contract the geometry group and let's expand the stack up and we go to conductor and we want top pins and vias and bottom pins and uh, that being done, we can say OK to close this user interface. So now to do the actual renaming of the components, we go to Logic, Auto Rename, and Rename. And it's Auto Rename, Ref Des Rename. And Let's go to a use default grid is fine. Rename all components is great. And we want to go to setup. And everything in here is usually set correctly. If you want to check it, uh, you can. 
If you have any letters in top layer or bottom layer identifiers, you want that blank and then you say close. And then you click on rename and the rename prog uh, process begins. And then we just say OK. And let's check it if we zoom in a little bit. Go up and then we see, let's see, see U1 over here, U2, U3, U4, U5, U7, U8. And looks like it did it uh, fine. And, um, and then we can go to uh, File, Save As, Final, Final. And we'll save it. And we already saved it once, but uh, let's overwrite that. The next thing we're going to do is interactively change a ref does. So if we go into Edit and Text, now if we go to U4, for instance, and we put in U7, U7 will become U4, and U4 will become U7. So I'm going to put in U7. I'm going to hit an, uh, an Enter, and we see that now U4 is there, and U7 is there, uh, which is not correct as far as we are concerned for this board. So I'm just going to say an Oops. Changes all back, and um, our board is saved, and that concludes our lesson on renaming components.